I'm Brenda. Welcome to my quilt room. Back in May, I had started a quilt using vintage hankies, and I did a tutorial to show you how to fold the hanky into a dress. I did a little update when I had it in the frame, and now it's finished, and I'd like to show it to you. It came out to be 56 by 56 inches, and I'm really pleased with how it turned out. I think it's beautiful. It's one of the prettiest things I think that I've ever created. Now today, this kind of, the, my, my um, passion for the vintage hankies came about a while back when I did a quilt and I made butterflies out of the hanky. And today I would like to show you how to fold your hankies into the shape of a butterfly. Here's just a few examples. This one is on a white background. And it would be really pretty just stitched around um, in a white thread or even a purple thread. Then I had a stack of fat quarters. And so I thought it would be really pretty to change it up a bit and put a hanky that sort of had the similar colors in my fat quarters. So here's one that's in a teal blue, and then here's one in a purple. And you could just sew these blocks. You don't have to have sashing between them. This book is where I got my inspiration years ago to make the hanky quilt out of the butterflies. And there is a pattern in here called Mother's Handkerchiefs. Uh, probably a lot of you had people in your family, maybe a grandmother or someone who used hankies. And my grandmothers both used hankies. And so you can see they have simply put their butterflies together by putting the blocks beside each other and then they did the prairie points pointing toward the outside. Now I made this quilt um, a few years back and there were actually some hankies in that quilt that were actually hankies that belonged to my husband's grandmother and great-grandmother and so they're set into a quilt and to keep the legacy going, I've passed that quilt down to our daughter. And we're going to show you a little video clip at the end of this tutorial of what that quilt turned out to look like. So I'm going to show you how to fold your hanky into the shape of a butterfly. This is quite easy. Again, you'll want to make sure that your hankies are all clean and you've laundered them and pressed them. Now this one is just a straight square edge and you can see that this one has scallops on it. But what you'll want to do is take your hanky and fold it in half corner to corner. And you want to fold it so that one side is just a little bit longer than the other. So this side is a just a little bit longer. Okay, and you'll smooth it out. And all you really need to do at this point, you're going to draw up about a third of the hanky and you want to push it underneath so that you have like an angle at the bottom because your butterfly is going to start out small and get wider as you go down. And then do the same thing, pinch up underneath the other side. And then you'll want to try to make your your wings come across somewhat the same distance. And then on this one, what I did, I drew my little head for my butterfly and the antenna is on with a friction pen. Now you can either at this point, you know, you want to make sure that you've got your hanky adhered to your block with your method of choice. You can use a little bit of Elmer's glue. 
You could use some tacky glue. Um, I like to use the Stitch Witch and just put that along the edges where I'm gonna be sewing and iron it down so that it stays in place. You can take your sewing machine and use a, a decorative stitch and you can do a blanket stitch along the outside edge, which I believe is what they did in the book. Or you could sew these. You could sit and sew these some night when you're watching television at night. And then embroider your head and your antennas on. Now you may be able to do that on your sewing machine or you may enjoy doing it by hand. There's, there's an endless array of colors of embroidery floss that you can use to embellish your butterfly. And that is all there is to making the butterfly. Once you've embroidered your head and your antennas on, then your butterfly is finished. These are very large blocks. I think these came out to be like 14 inches. So it would not take very many butterflies at all for you to put together a very large quilt. So I hope that you will try this and see what you can do with your vintage hankies. I hope you enjoy the video. Thank you for spending part of your day with me. If you like my videos, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Thank you.